Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson here. So I'm going to show you guys how to programmatically check whenever someone boosts your server. It's actually fairly simple. We need to listen to the guild member update events. So what I'm going to do is I'm using my slappy tool. So if you aren't using it, I would highly recommend you use it. It's very simple. I'm just going to generate the events. So let's go and look for guild member update obviously if you're not using slappy you can easily do this on your own it's nothing crazy you just need to listen to the guild member update event so you're going to see right over here we have our file created now let me show you how this works so let me just run my bot so this event is triggered whenever something is updated on the guild member so for example if we change our nickname so let me go ahead and do that real quick so our bot's logged in so let me go and change my nickname to something like, I don't know, Anson. You're going to see that's going to go ahead and log null for old member nickname, And then the new member is Anson. That's our new nickname. The reason why it was null before was because we didn't have a nickname. Now if I were to change this again, it's going to go from Anson to null. And if we were to change it to, let's just say A, it'd go from null to A. And let's change it to B, it would go from A to B. Very simple stuff. So of course I can also update my roles and this will also trigger. So let's give myself the developer role. And you're gonna see that it's logging null. Now, even though we are not changing our nicknames, it's still logging whenever the role is added to ourselves and I remove it, it's gonna also log in. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we're checking whenever the roles are added to the user. And that's actually very simple. So all you need to do is just compare the old member's roles size to the new member's role size. So let me explain a little bit. So in version 12, old member has a property called roles and that roles in version 12 is the guild member role manager. Okay, so let me pull up the documentation over here and you're gonna see right over here, guild member role manager. And if we wanna get the actual collection, remember in version 11, roles was a collection, but in version 12, you have to reference a cache. And if you wanna get the actual collection in version 12, you'd reference cache. So this is just a map Okay, and you can call dot size to get the total size of the collection, which is the number of roles that the user has. So all you need to do is just check to see if old member dot roles dot cache dot size. And again, in version 12, you would just get rid of cache. Okay, and you want to check to see if that is not equal to new member dot roles dot cache dot size. Because if they're not equal, that means that they either received a role, they had a role removed, etc. Okay, but if their roles remain the same size, that means something else was updated, such as the nickname. So if this is true, then let me go ahead and just log this up console. All right, so let's just go over here. All right, so let's give myself a role. And you're going to see it says role updated. Okay. Now let's remove that role. It's going to say role updated. In the first part, old member had only one role. New member only had two roles. In the second time, old member had two roles and new member had one role. Now let's go ahead and change our nickname just to show you that this will not trigger whenever we update our nickname. Okay, see, it does not update whenever we change our nickname, which is good. Cool. All right, so now we need to make sure that we're checking the old member's roles and then comparing it to new members rules. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our server booster rule. So obviously I don't have Discord Nitro, but what you're going to do is you're going to go and look for your server booster rule. And I would suggest you copy the ID, but since I don't have Discord Nitro, I'm just going to go ahead and use the donator rule for now. But again, it's literally the same thing because all you're doing is just checking to see if the user who boosted the server received the server booster role. The reason why you check the roles is because whenever someone boosts your server, they automatically receive the server booster role and you cannot remove it from them. So for example, if I try to remove it from this guy, I can't, I can't remove it from this guy. I can't remove it from this guy, etc. I can't. Okay. It's automatically added to the guild member whenever the user boosts the server or member boosts the server. So we're going to go ahead and just simply check if all member dot roles that cache so that's our quote unquote server booster role. It's not really the actual server booster role, but for demonstration purposes, it's going to work the same way. But the idea is we're going to check to see if they don't have that role, right? If, if old member does not have that role, that means that they were not server boosting the server. And we want to make sure that new member dot roles dot cache has that role. So the transition is basically very, very simple. If the old member did not have the server booster role, 
but the new member had the server booster role, then that means that a role was added to that member. And what that means is if they did not have the original server booster role, but they do now, they boost the server because like I said, that role is automatically added whenever you boost the server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply just gonna go ahead and just send a message to the channel. And you can do whatever you want, obviously. You can send them a message, you can send them a, you know, a DM, you can send a message to a specific channel. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the bots channel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and send the channel. Let's send, thank you, member for boosting. And obviously you can, you know, do whatever it is that you want. It's up to you, but this is just kind of like, your own custom event but obviously by default discord js does not have the nitro boost event at least not that i am aware of okay anyways let's go ahead and give myself the verified role nothing's gonna happen remove it nothing's gonna happen well let's go ahead and give myself the developer role nothing's gonna happen so the roles are being updated but of course again we're checking the server boost role. so the server boost role well the, the fake role that i used was donator so if i give myself the donator role it's going to say thank you arizona for boosting see how that works very very simple so again just to pretend pretend like i just boosted the server discord will automatically give us the server booster role and in our case the server booster role is the donated role we received that role originally we did not have that role but now we do and we did the check over here and since that's the case then it's going to send this message to the channel but like i said you can do whatever it is you want you can either dm them throw a party whatever it is that you want so hopefully this helped you guys out and i'll see you guys in my next video peace